Well, I'm gonna really go out on a limb here, dude. And I'm not sure I've performed this. Well, maybe I, I've certainly never performed in this country before. But um, my friend Dave was telling me that that um, he's got somebody here who's involved in Morris dancing. And um, many years ago, <laughs> so many many years ago, I was living. Uh, in, in Davis, California, where I live now, and a good friend of mine who, who loves dancing and, and has done some Morris dancing himself in various forms of English dancing, uh, was he was the sound man for our band. It was my wife and I had a band together, and we were playing some bar gig somewhere really late, you know, kind of two in the morning kind of thing, and it happened to be the night before May 1st, and our sound guy, Doug, was, was really into dance, and he said, oh, you know, tomorrow's Mad May morning. Uh, you know, if we go down to Berkeley, we can watch the Berkeley Morris. This was 2 a.m., right? We'd all had a bit to drink. Um, so we all, somebody hadn't been drinking, so whoever it was got at the wheel, it wasn't me. Um, and we piled in the car and went down to Berkeley. And we just waited until 5 in the morning or 6 in the morning, whenever the sun came up. And we were all still awake. And it was incredible. The sun came up and these guys in white with bells and everything just came out of nowhere. And, 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 and then there was like, a, there was a bear because the, the, the California symbol is the bear, right? So they had a bear, they had a green man um, and a couple other things. And I just thought this was so incredible. I should write a song about it because, you know, nobody's going to believe it if I try and tell them about it. But uh, of course, over here, it's not quite so exotic. Um, now, I know your, your, your symbol here is not the bear. It's... What is it? A, a phoenix. A phoenix. A phoenix. Oh, okay. So I couldn't. I was thinking whether I could try and change the bear to a phoenix for the song, but I, I couldn't quite work that out. That was a step beyond what I could handle. So it's called Mad May Morning, and I'm gonna teach you the chorus because it's one of those that'll work a lot better if you if you sing it, I think. And I'm I'm told by an expert that this is not in the style or the rhythm of a Morris dance at all. But, but then what do I know, right? Maybe in Berkeley they do it differently. So the chorus goes, it's Mad May, Mad May morning. The party got started late last night. Winter's gone, now summer is a coming. It's Mad May morning and we're feeling all right. The main thing is to get that first Mad May morning. That's right. It's Mad May, Mad May morning. Party, party got started late last night. Winter's gone, winter's gone, now summer is a coming. Mad May morning, and we're feeling all right. It's Mad May morning, and I'm up with the lark. There's a chill in the air, it's still pretty dark. When the sun comes creeping up over the hill, gonna jump in the air with a mighty yell. Cause it's Mad May, Mad May morning. The party got started late last night. Winter's gone, now summer isn't coming. It's Mad May morning, and we're feeling all right. Men dance until they drop for a fertile year and a healthy crop. May the cows have calves, the ewes have lambs, may the corn grow tall in the fields again. It's Mad May, Mad May morning, the party got started late last night. Winter is gone, now summer is a coming. It's Mad May morning, and we're feeling them all right. Don't you be fooled by the dancing mayor or the green man running round. Let's go put a maypole up in the center of the town. Cause it's Mad May, Mad May morning. The party got started late last night. Summer to come, summer to come. It's Mad May morning, they were feeling all right. It's a Mad May, Mad May morning. The party got started late last night. Winter is gone, now summer is coming. It's Mad May morning and we're feeling all right. That's cool. Now see, in my dreams, that would get that would get picked up and sung in different folk clubs, and somebody would eventually think that it's traditional and you know, not that it was written by an American. That would be the ultimate thing. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but you know.